God bless you. This is Bishop David Wallace here at Agape Cathedral, uh, 881 Merrick Road in Baldwin, New York. And uh, how pleased we are that you have joined us uh, for this time of sharing. Uh, we invite you to come to be a part of our services. Uh, Friday evenings is a time of Bible study when we've been in a series entitled Growing Up to Go Up, uh, and it's been a remarkable series concerning uh, the stages of development and the spiritual life of the believer. Uh, you would do yourself a great service to come and to be a part and learn the Word of God with us. And then on Sundays, our worship experience begins at 12 noon, and we've been in an interesting series uh, at the 12 noon hour on Sundays entitled The Kingdom is Going to the Dogs. Uh, it's an unusual subject, I know, uh, but uh, you'd be interested to hear what the Lord has given us concerning the status of the believer in this season uh, who submit themselves to present day truth there are blessings and inheritances that God has already assigned to the life of every kingdom believer. And we discuss the status of the believer's blessings and inheritances on the one side and then on the other side. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, the negative occurrences that can manifest if we go opposite the direction that God wants us to go. And so I'm inviting you to come and to be a part of this exciting time in the life of Agape. Uh, we started off discussing the Syrophoenician woman uh, who said to Jesus, my daughter is grievously vexed of a devil. And Jesus simply said to her, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It is not meat to give the children bread to the dogs. Of course, she was a Gentile, uh, uh, but she understood the power that Jesus possessed. And she said, Lord, you've told the truth, but even the dogs uh, can eat of the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And if I'm not God's house guest, I'll be willing to be God's pet. The kingdom is going to the dogs. And then we talked about Gideon, whose army was reduced from 32,000 to 300 men who lapped water like a dog against 135,000 Midianites. Can you imagine? 135,000 in the troops of the Midianites. They had been oppressed for seven years. And God says, I reduce your numbers by 31,700. And the men that lap water like a dog, by those men will I save you. What a remarkable demonstration of the power of God. And uh, just today, I've just concluded a message about Caleb, uh, who the Bible said had another spirit because he followed the Lord fully. And the Lord said, him will I bring into the promised land and his seed shall possess it. One of the meanings of Caleb's name is, you guessed it, a dog. He's a dog for faithfully following his master. The other signification of his name means all heart, which means that he has followed the master fully. There are blessings, there are favors, and there is a divine inheritance that God has laid up for you because you are part of the kingdom. And if you will avail yourself to God's word, God will manifest his word in your life in ways that you have not yet experienced. I invite you to come and to be a part. Looking forward to seeing you.